Love must be sincere, a real thing. It's interesting about this word sincere because it's not just in the way that we see sincere. How it was written was it means to be without wax. It means to be without a covering. It means to be something that's authentic. Here we are on the day that we will spend the vow the rest of our lives together. I can't believe it is finally here. I'm so happy to become your husband and I'm sure that we will live a very happy life together. I'm so glad this day is finally here. Meeting nine years ago was so unexpected yet so perfect. I'm so glad you decided to come over to our booth and trap me. You make me a better, stronger person. With you, I'm not fearful of any decision making because I know together we can figure anything out. We have each other, and we also have an incredible group of friends and family here today. I will see you in a few hours. Love, Jerry. And so when your love is real, your love will stand up against any hard times, any difficulties. Are right, you ready? I'm ready. Yeah. Can't wait. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Are you? Yeah. Yep. How's your day been? Good. Your mom cried. That's shocking. <laughs> As a rep representative and the one officiating the service today, I now present you as husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. There is a saying that love does not consist of gazing at each other. It rather, it consists of looking outwards in the same direction. You know, I'm, I may have said something to Jeremy a long time ago, like, man, look, you know, don't rush it. I, did, I didn't know it was that it was going to take nine years, but I think it's probably pretty well got her figured out now. We good? So congratulations, thank you for hosting us, and we love you. Thank you for always loving me unconditionally, for calling me out, and for having my back, and for being the man of my dreams. I can't wait to marry you and embark on this new adventure together. See you at the altar. Love you more. Amber.